Hey guys, it's Shay from Polygon Motion and welcome to this tutorial. And uh, it has been a while that I didn't publish any tutorial. I'm really sorry guys about that. And now I'm coming with uh, a new tutorial about Signware plugin. It's actually, it's, a, it's not a, a plugin. It was a plugin, but now it's uh, integrated with After Effects that uh, allows us to um, open and import Cinema 4D project file in After Effects in real time and what I mean by real time that uh, we can uh, make changes to Cinema 4 e and uh, uh, simultaneously we can see the those changes we can have those changes in After Effects as well and there's a lot of other things that you, you have to know and if you're a beginner in After Effects and Cinema 4 e this tutorial is perfect for you now let's get a start and talk about SignVar at the first what is SignVar? SignVar is a plugin in After Effects if I open here the uh, After Effects and if I go to effects and type in here sign wire, you see a plugin that is built in in After Effects. After uh, the After Effects uh, 2014 has I think or 2015, this plugin is come with After Effects integrated with After Effects. You don't uh, you didn't need to uh, install it uh, as a third party plugin, and now it's came with After Effects. And what it does it. It's open and it allows you to import Cinema 4 e project file inside of After Effects in live mode. By live, I mean that when you open your Cinema 4 e project file and in Cinema 4 e whatever changes that you make in Cinema 4 e or adding objects, creating um, materials, adding different textures or things like that, you would see the result simultaneously after saving your project file in After Effects as well. And that makes our life easier very very easy and uh, you don't need to take an render output you don't need to uh, wait for for hours to see your final result and final uh, output uh, although it doesn't mean that with signwire now once it when once you use signwire you don't need to use render output in some cases signwire is very very efficient and very easy to use and it it, it saves a lots of time uh, in some project and uh, although maybe in some project it wouldn't work because we need to uh, take a render out from cinema 4 e and then do some compositing works uh, compositing uh, works or th or things like that but in some in some project i found this uh, plugin useful and uh, i decided to create a short class about this most of the beginners didn't know actually most of the beginners don't know actually about signwire plugin and in this class, I'm not just going to talk about signware, but I'm going to talk about another way of um, importing Cinema 4D file and Cinema 4D informations uh, in After Effects that calls uh, exchange plugins of Cinema 4D, and it's a new way, not new, but <laughs> it's it's almost very efficient way to uh, import Cinema 4D informations like multi passes, like like cameras, like things like that. Uh, you can you can import very easily in After Effects with Exchange plugin as well. But at the first, I'm going to talk about Signware. Signware is very easy. It's not too hard to use the, this plugin. But uh, you have to learn it. You have to you have to get a start with it. it uh, and once you get a start with that, and once you familiarize uh, yourself with this plugin, you'd probably use this plugin a lot uh, in your production pipeline. So. Let's jump right into it and uh, escape too much talking about SignWire. And in here, I'm using After Effects CC 2017, and you can use any version of uh, After Effects above of 2014, but it's better to use newest version, latest version of After Effects. And also, in Cinema 4 e I'm using R18, Cinema 4 R18. It's also the newest, the latest uh, version of Cinema 4 e Okay, here I'm in Cinema 4 e and the first thing first, we need to uh, determine our project size in here. It's very important, and I'm going to choose HDTV and frame rate, maybe 30 frames per second, and okay. So now let's create a very simple shape, maybe a figure or maybe a platonic. It's not important, I just want to point out some of the basics of SignWire. Uh, in After Effects. Now, now we have our object and how can we import that with SignWire in After Effects? The first way, 
the, it's very easy. You have to save your project, save as, and I'm going to save it in desktop and call the project one and save it. Once you save that, go to your After Effect, open After Effect. I'm going to delete my text in here and I'm going to delete this example and simply by command I or you can go to file and import file and go to desktop and I'm finding my project one in here just open your project and now you see that your Cinema 4D project file is in your project panel in After Effects and simply you have to drag it into the timeline and once you drag it you see this kind of result and one thing that I'm really sorry about that that my SignWire uh, plugin is in German language. It's not. It's not a big deal. I. I will. I will uh, translate each one of them. But you. You just need to know the functionality of them. The. 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 The text are not important. I hope you guys understand that. And I'm really sorry about that. But I'm trying to translate them in, into English. So now we have this project, and. Uh, Actually, it is a draft mode. We can't use it, you know, in our final project. It's it's draft, and you see some scene lines and things like that. But don't worry, we have a, a lots of other things in here. In the first uh, options, we have renderer. In renderer, we have to use which kind of renderer we we want to see. We want to take the first, the, the default mode is software. The software mode is the uh, the, the the mode that you see in Cinema 4 e it's not the final. Uh, for example, if I go to Cinema 4 e you see this kind of scene in here in After Effects as well. It is the software mode. But when I take the render output in here, it is the final render output of my scene. So we want to see the final render output in After Effects, not just the software itself. In here, we have standard, invorf, is mean that draft mode, and standard final. And if I put this to a standard uh, draft, and here's Envorf, <laughs> standard, you see the final output, but but the big problem here that you see some pixelation artifacts and some 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 anti-aliasing uh, things in here artifacts that we don't want to see that. You probably guess it right. You have to put it in a standard final. Final means the final render output that you take from Cinema 4 you can you can have it in here in After Effects as well. So for final output, my suggestion for you guys is to when you, uh, for example, when you finalize your uh, project, when you done all of the things, then put your uh, render output to standard final because it takes a lots of time. If you if you don't have any good graphic cards or process or things like that you won't see the result too fast so uh, at the at the normal mode when i when i work on my project in here when i want to make changes uh, I, I i'm just putting this to software and in software it's very flexible it's very fast you see the result simultaneously and very fastly and one option here we have opengl if you have a graphic card that support opengl you can I put it in OpenGL, and um, if you don't know OpenGL, OpenGL is a graphic library that uh, that 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 uh, when when a graphic card support OpenGL, it means that you can render fast, you have a faster uh, render app, uh, things like that, and all the things will go fast with OpenGL. But OpenGL, I'm not going to op uh, I'm not going to put OpenGL in most of the time because my graphic card in 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 my Mac is not too good. So for this purpose, I'm going to uh, put this in software and in uh, render options in here in Anzeige, it's German. <laughs> uh, we have some um, uh, options in here, for example, we just see the grate in here, we have some uh, wireframe mode and things like that, but the shading, the uh, final shading, uh, it means the final shading is this one. If maybe you need some wireframe mode or things like that, you can put it in wireframes and draft mode as well. <clears throat> in in most of the cases, in some project, maybe you have some textures, and you don't want to see the texture uh, in the scene, and or you want to see the texture uh, in draft mode, not in high quality. Maybe you use 4K textures. Maybe you use 
very high detail textures but you don't want to um, make your project very slow in rendering then you can you uh, check on these texts in texture and shader uh, that that you just see the 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 the, the, the object itself without textures and that is very helpful but i'm not going to uh just uh, take it on take it on and and here we have camera it's very very important and now it is cinema 4 camera if i change some of the for example if i uh, create a camera in here and put this in camera mode and change it and also save it you have to save this project Otherwise, you won't get the result. Now, you see that. My pers perspective and my point of view is changed now because I've changed the camera in Cinema 4 And it's very handy. You see that. If I ch if I add some uh, other objects in here, small it down, and just save it, common is, and go to After Effect, now you see that. It is very, very handy. Uh, if you have, for example, compositing shots, I'm using this kind of uh, tool in most of VFX shots that, I, that I'm working on. And it's very handy. I don't need to, for example, take a render, render, maybe you uh, maybe you miss something, maybe you you want some changes, you don't need to re-render it again and things like that. So, now it's Cinema 4 camera. Anything that you change in Cinema 4 project file, you will get, you will see it in After Effects as well. But if I go to Comp Camera and create a new camera in my uh, timeline and put this to third mode to see things very fastly, if I change the camera, you see that the point of view and the perspective of the vault scene is changing. And it's very handy, it's very fast way to make change, changes. But also, uh, you have to keep in mind that it's a little bit uh, slow in most of the cases when you have too much object, when you have lots of objects. You may experience some, some um, what should I say, some... Uh, problems and rendering and things like that but for most of the ca cases it will work like this and you see that if I go to project and things like that so in here we have another option cinema 4 e camera house well and it means that cinema 4 e camera selection and if you have different cameras in cinema 40 you can uh, choose it uh, from camera in here if i uh, open this that set camera it means set camera and if i change uh, open this you see that we have one camera but if i go to cinema 4 e and create another camera in here and put it in the point of view of camera and save it if i go to Effect back and camera you see that we have two camera now we can change two different cameras in here and you see that it's very fast and very nice to have it and most of the cases we have another options uh, that um, it means it's center centerize the comp camera uh, if I delete the camera and uh, if I create, if I put this to comp camera and create a new camera in here in my timeline, you see that it's jumping off. It's jumping off the scene and I have to uh, just centerize it manually. But if I go to the sign wire and just choose centerize comp camera, now you see that it just center in the default mode of the project and you do need to do it manually so that is from camera and we have another things in here multi-pass that i'm going to talk about it in the next lesson because uh, when you want to work with multi-pass you have to add it into cinema 4 render output if you don't know about multi-pass i'm going to talk about it in the next lesson so that was basics of sign virus from how to create a sign wire scene in After Effects, how to import it, and all of these things, if you didn't know about that. Okay, now you know all the things about sign wire. 
how to uh, import your project from Cinema 4 e into After Effects and all of these basic things. In the next uh, part of this tutorial, uh, we are going to create a text project and uh, we are going to talk about a little bit advanced tools like multipass and camera uh, controlling uh, with Signware in After Effects. So, see you guys in the next part of this tutorial.